the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is in our midst. He is in our midst. One of the hymns, one of the resurrection hymns that uh, we heard the choir sing last night at Vision says this, Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We venerate thy cross, O Christ, and we praise and glorify thy holy resurrection. Come, all ye faithful, let us venerate Christ's holy resurrection. For behold, through the cross, Joy has come in to all the world. I want to talk about that last sentence. For behold, through the cross, joy has come in to all the world. Some of you may be old enough to remember that song, What the World Needs Now is Love, Sweet Love. Right? I know more than a few of my brother clergy are old enough to remember that after the song came out. I agree that what the world needs is more love. But that's not the only thing that there's just too little of. The world also needs joy. Now joy is not the same thing as happiness. Because happiness is often dependent on external circumstances. Whereas joy is a gift of the Holy Spirit that enables us to rejoice even when things aren't going well. Even when we are, we are suffering difficulties and tribulation. Remember what, that, well, we all know that in this world, and maybe even in our own lives, there's, there's things going on that would give us reason to be unhappy. But it doesn't have to strip us or rob us of our joy. Because remember what Jesus said, in this world you will have tribulation. But what? But be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. We can have joy, the joy that the scripture speaks of, because we know that our Savior has overcome the world. And how does Jesus overcome the world? By his cross and resurrection. Through the cross, joy has come into all the world. If you have time, sometime, do a, do a word search and see how many times the word joy is used in the New Testament. St. Paul in Galatians says, But the fruit of the Spirit is what? First, love. Second, joy. Then, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. In Romans, St. Paul says, For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. And he says, Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Hebrews, we read that we are to look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the uh, right hand of the throne of God. And this joy is not dependent on what's going on in our external circumstances. It is not dependent on, it, on whether we are going through trials or, or, or tribulations or suffering. In fact, as James tells us, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. So we have a lot of reason that the scriptures give us to, to have joy in our lives. Joy that is not based on everything going well, but it can have that hope and the joy even in the midst of difficulties and trials. Through the cross, joy has come into the world. Why? Because by his death on the cross, by dying our death, the death that we deserve, Jesus has destroyed death. He has trampled it down. And by his resurrection, he has given us eternal life. If that is not reason to rejoice, I, I don't know what is. That we have eternal life, the forgiveness of sins. 
He, uh, Jesus has taken one of the worst forms of punishment and death that men could devise, and he has transformed it into the means of our salvation. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's how the cross has brought joy into the world. Right, kids? You understand this, right? Anybody, children, have joy. And as St. Jude says, Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling, and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with great joy, to God our Savior, who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, now and forever. Amen. Christ is in our midst. He is ever shall be.